Yeah. What up, world? It's your boy Jeff, aka Cool Boy Jeff, right here. It's the only place you can find a wave. It's the wave 804. So today I'm bringing back an old friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? She's been working. I mean, yo, I'm talking about she ghosted Virginia Low Key because I'm talking about she everywhere having fun, uh, runways, modeling, doing so much photography, DJing, and um, also she's a dope mom as well. I'm not going to say too much. I'm going to let this. Uh, want me to go ahead and introduce herself and she ain't nervous so I hope y'all be taking it like oh that she's just being nervous not nah, she ain't nervous at all. Well you go ahead and introduce yourself my love. What's up y'all huh? go by Layla Janelle. Um I've been doing all the things he said as well as a little digital brand consulting and I still been having a nine to five which I do accounting. Um I study business in college so I got a lot on my hands. I stay busy and I just try to, you know, motivate other people and just be a light in the community. You know, like that's what I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and hey, uh, she's a hard worker. I done watched her uh, bust her chops for years to get to where she is. And there's a whole lot more that's coming for us. So I want to say a big shout out to you because I, I mean, you working. You really working for real, for real. So that's really dope, too. So, uh, there's no problemo. So I know we had a, a, a old interview that was on Instagram um, a couple years back. But now that you're, I want to say, further more in your career and doing multiple things as well, what what do you think that kind of gave you more opportunities? Was it uh, being around certain individuals or was it more so as like you kind of just got away from the 804 area for a little bit? Um, I would have to say a combination of both, um, because I'm a firm believer that who you surround yourself with makes a big difference. Like, I really push myself out my comfort zone to network, and um, I noticed that you know I met a lot of people that weren't good for me <laughs> or had weird intentions. You know, like being a model is so many, you know photographers and you you gotta be careful who you trust and um it's just best to go to like fashion events and actually see who's serious and who's not just trying to get you to their studio or house Mm -hmm. um but i would have to say i've been the most consistent in modeling and um from doing that you know i've been to new york atlanta just up and down the east coast and it made a big deal it was a big deal to me when I was accepted to RBA Fashion Week because I'm like, I'm on the short side, you know, and they don't really pick that many girls that, you know, short or have natural hair. It's always been like tall, skinny physique. <laughs> so, yeah, I just had to put myself in the right places and, um, you know, just network and Personally, I've been, you know, south and to the mm-hmm. west coast as well. So that opened up opportunities for me to network out there. Mm-hmm. So is there anything previously before you started going to all these places and doing these things that you had to make like certain sacrifices for to be able to do this? Because, you know, it do require a lot of work, attention, and you have to come in there and give it 110%. Uh, was there certain sacrifices that you had to make before you started getting to to the journey you is now? Yes, I would have to say I sacrificed a lot of sleep <laughs> um, because you know once you like work a nine to five type of job, it's like you it exhausts you, and when you come home, you know some people they might be tired or whatever, but. It's like you got to be in that mindset, like, all right, this time for me to run my business now. I'm coming up on the third year that I've had my LLC, so um, I've had to sacrifice so much, like, money, investing in my business for products and um, merch, you know, just trying to, like, put myself out there, even down to, like, equipment. Um, So I just would say that that's the most thing that I had to sacrifice like years ago. And then right now, I have to like sacrifice more time because 
it's not about me anymore. It's like I'm a mom, so my kid comes first. But luckily, I was able to find a job where I was able to work from home for the past year and a couple months. So that I was able to, like, you know, raise my daughter right there while I'm right there with her. I compete on my laptop. But it's like, you know, kids still need time and attention and love. So it's like, you still got to balance it. And it's so hard, you know, because you can only give 100% to, and, and you can only give 100%, 50% to your career, 50% to your personal. It's like, hard to give 100 when you got eight hours here and then you're like, you got your kids all day. <laughs> yeah. And that, no, nah, that, that's definitely facts. That's facts. Um, even like now that, you know, we both got kids now, well, children one, but, yeah. um, I think it added a little bit more momentum to get things done and that you want to be, I say, inspiring to them. Because it's like when they get older, they can really realize like, oh, my mom did this. She was a model. She was a DJ. You know, since she did poetry and stuff like that. And you know, this is why I'm kind of interested in certain things. What I am now because of my mom and what did she show me? And um, as right. a, so, but as a mom, what is the biggest thing that you try to remember while doing a lot of these things? Because you know, again, you do have somebody that look up look up to you, you know what I'm saying, and one day you want to do the certain same things with what you're doing, but as a mother right now, what is something that you have in the back of your mind to remind you that, you know, you got to do the do things the right way? Well, I think that also it's like a combination of just being yourself, who you are, like don't try to, you know, pretend that you are something you're not because... At the end of the day, people going to find out, you know, who you truly are. So um, I always try to carry myself in a respectful way. But I also have that fun side of me, you know, I'm saying stuff. So, you know, I don't have no filter. And sometimes people think I'm too blunt or they just can't take it. Because I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm not a yes man type of friend. So if you're not doing something right, do what you do. But don't come to me for advice because I'm going to tell you the real. Mm -hmm. So for me, um, I always keep in the back of my mind that I got to be an example for her and other young women. A lot of young women was looking up to me, you know, all this time, like people write me or, you know, telling me I'm moving them or, you know, they'll say, you know, keep going because, you know, I lost my mom. So it's been tough for me trying to raise my daughter um, without having, you know, my mother figure in my life. But she has, you know, other family and stuff, and I lean on that. And um, I also just wanted to say that I've been able to still do my dream, even though I've had my daughter. And <laughs> that's the part that's really shocking to people because they're like, oh, my goodness. Like, you know, they're probably like, oh, she, she done. You know, yeah. she out the game type. Yeah. You know, on that, I'm backing up better. <laughs> I love my new body. And um, I just want to motivate people out there, like, if you have a child or you have something happening in your life that you feel like you may not be ready for, you may be ready for, but it's a new challenge in your life, just accept it and grow and just try to push through it as much as you can. That's what I tell myself, and um, it's just been a blessing for real, like, how everything is aligning. Like, even one time I didn't have child care. I just brought her to model practice with me. Mm. And everybody was accepting of her, you know. She was dancing at the practice, you know, turning up. Everybody was piping her up. Mm. <laughs> it was a vibe. So these moments like that, I know she never going to forget, you know, when she go back with her videos or, you know, people talk about it. Mm. That's what's up, man. That Right there, that's definitely mommy of the year. Uh, I, I, I bangs with that. Um, now, what I, I want to say, modeling was the first thing that you was doing before you started doing everything else, right? So, what inspired you to pursue the career of modeling? Um, it started in college, honestly. Um, there was this club on campus called GMU Fashion Society. Mm -hmm. I wanted to really be a part of it, and I got in my freshman year, and I did the Coachella show, but then after that, 
they didn't pick me for like shows or anything else anymore. It was like people was like close to like a little clip low, low key. Mm-hmm. And one dude, he told me I'm not confident enough. So I was like, hmm, really? That's his opinion. So, you know, I was like, all right, well, they don't want me in this. So I ain't going to give up. So I just started like making connections in DC because I was going to school at Mason at the time at the Noble mm-hmm. um, in Fairfax. So basically, I just started, you know, networking because DC was 30 minutes away. I mm-hmm. started signing photographers and I started taking pictures of myself. I bought a can, I bought a can of T6 and I was like, you know what? I'm going to weed out the middleman. I'm going to do this myself. But then it got difficult. You know, I couldn't really do as many pictures or get as many good angles. So I had to use my network and that, that really pushed me to the ultimate level, you know, to really learn the game, like who to work with how many pictures you make it, mm-hmm. um, do they edit them, when you get the soft edits, like all those details I had to go through and find out the hard way, for real, for real. Some people you can't trust, some people you got to talk to in the beginning. Then I came back home, and then I started networking in the city, taking mm-hmm. pictures with other photographers. So it was definitely a learning experience, and like I said, it's been a unique journey, sometimes creepy. <laughs> But that's why you got to surround yourself with other women. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be around the negativity or the weirdo. And I just got to throw that out there because some people might be like, oh, my God, you love taking pictures, but it's not as easy as it looks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not no Instagram model. Like, I'm out in real life. I do real shows. So that is a motivation to keep going. Like, when somebody tell you you can't do something, I just let that go through one ear and not the other. Mm. And I keep going. Because right there in that moment, that could have crushed me. But it didn't. I kept going. And I'm still doing it. And all those people that was in that organization, um, majority of them, they don't even model anymore. Mm-hmm. So that shocked me too. But it was a great organization. It's just one of the people that was, you know, on the panel. They just wasn't dying it. And he's entitled to his opinion, but at the time I was just starting out and I just wanted to get better. But growing up, I always loved taking pictures and creating art. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, man. How do you stay in shape and maintain your physical appearance? So, yeah, your girl been back in the gym since okay. October. And, you know, so that was. For me, 10 months postpartum. But I want to just back up a little bit. I started back skating three months after I had the baby. So my baby was three months. I was back in the room. <laughs> that keeps me very in shape, too. It's like cardio. Y'all know? Mm-hmm. I be at the um, skating. I have been so consistent. I go every single week. Like, you can always catch me at the rink. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or, you know, at a skate party. But um, those are the two things that I've done. I had got me a trainer back in October. I had to get me a new one this past February. I was compelled fitness, but um, I just been trying to keep my mind and my body in shape because if you look good, you feel good, and um, I just wanted to really transform my body. You know what I'm saying? Like I noticed a lot of people be like, "Oh my God, I hate my body." Like after they have a baby or They'll be like, oh, my God, this is so tough. But it's it's not that bad if you just put in the work. And um, I just want to throw this out there. I didn't tell nobody this yet. But I'm becoming a doula. So I want to inspire, like, other women to, like, you know, get through their pregnancy Mm -hmm. in a positive way. Like, change your mindset. And, like, encourage them, like, hey, I've been through this. Like, you can do this. And your body will bounce back if you take care of it. You take care of your skin during your pregnancy, you're going to be good. Moisturize your skin. Don't scratch it. All that stuff. I got the gym. So, I'm ready. (laughs) Okay. So, is there any products that you recommend for women to use when they go through that type of time period? Yes, I recommend the Palmer's kit. They have one um, for 
And to, for art, uh, I can't get it out. I'm sorry. They have one um, for the pregnancy, but I know some people don't know what this is, antepartum. And then they have a postpartum one. So um, it comes with like an oil, one for your breast, um, and then a cream for your stomach. So um, I would definitely recommend that you can find that on Amazon or you can find those individual products at like your local Walmart. And I just want to educate our women of color, especially too, because um, a lot of us don't get the education we need to like really take care of our skin or our body. And it's a lot of stuff going on in the medical field. So I don't want to get off subject, but yeah, mm-hmm. it's just like, I want to keep us motivated, like educate one another because sometimes people obtain information. They just want to keep it all to themselves. I'm not that type of like, I'm here, I'm an open book, I want to help as many people as I can so that they can make, you know, better life for themselves. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you don't want to gatekeep, you want to make sure that the women get as much as information as possible, right? Yes. Okay. That's what's up. So what do you enjoy most about modeling and why? Um, the most, I don't have to say... Mm, that's so hard. <laughs> mm-hmm. I have to say I really enjoy just like being on, I guess I picked the wrong way. Because I just feel like my personality comes out. Like, I just feel like on the wrong way, you can't tell me nothing. Like, I'm not worried about anything. You know, like when you take it, it's different when you're, you know, doing commercial or print. It's like you're trying to pose at a certain angle and mm-hmm. stuff like that. But on the one way, it's like I'm moving on. Stop. I'm in the mo- I'm in the zone. I'm in my mode. Like can't nobody tell me nothing. I just love I just love that. But um I would have to say just being in the zone and just pushing myself on my comfort zone because I came from nothing. Like people try to tell me I'm not this, I'm not that, you too short. You, you is you're not really that and then just like that can really toggle with your um confidence in a way that can really mess with your mind mm-hmm. but i don't care what they say i just keep going um yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. i just love being on the runway so uh, that was actually one of my questions too uh how do you prepare for a run ratio okay so i'm currently in an agency and it is teaching me how to become a better model. So it's like I'm humble enough to know that I'm not at the ultimate level who I'm going to become. Mm-hmm. So I go to practice on weekends. We practice for two hours on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, and they basically teach us, I want to say, I'm trying to describe it. So most shows that I do are like ballroom. Mm-hmm. Or like um, that type of modeling, like straight one way, and then it's like personality. But this agency that I'm in, you're able to step out your comfort zone. They're all about personality. So we, you know, we have very, very high heels. We wear pleasing heels, and you just gotta be who you are for real. For real. Like mm-hmm. it's no stipulations, you know, just be confident, just be sexy, just show out. And that's not what it comes down to. And that's pushing me out of my comfort zone because growing up in this industry, it's kind of, how can I describe it? It's like one way. Like everybody just, you know, walk down the wrong way, pose, turn around. Mm-hmm. But with this, it's like I can play with my hair, I can touch on my body, I can, you know, look this way, look that way, but at the big shows, like big, big shows, they don't want all that extra. They mm-hmm. call that extra. Like you're doing too much. Mm-hmm. But with them, it's like I can express myself for real and, you know, I can be who I am. So that's what I love most, I have to say. Okay. So you find love and just, well, I mean, because it really do take a lot of confidence to get on that stage and to be yourself and to show off your body. But you always find a way to still keep going and enjoy yourself while you having fun on the runway. So 
is there anything that you gotta kind of think to yourself while you're walking? You know, some people want to walk fast so they can get it over with. But with yourself, you know what I'm saying? You slow down, you show, you know, do your poses and stuff like that. What would be some words that you can be able to give to a woman that want to do that, but she's kind of struggling with just her confidence a little bit? Um, I would just say, like, it's two ways. Like, you're just starting off. I would just say stare straight ahead mm-hmm. and just bring energy. Like, that's the number one thing. Bring energy. You don't want to be still walking. The crowd is going to feel that. The audience is there to see you. So, mm-hmm. once you're at an advanced level, it's like, all right, all right, I'm going to look over here. I'm going to connect with this one. Or, you know, I'm going to stare at this person. Like, you don't cheat. You know, look like a zombie on the runway. Like, you got to bring life. You got to bring energy. Mm-hmm. You got to give it to them. Show them that you love what you got on. Like, show them you like it. So mm-hmm. Show them, like, it's something you were wearing or you were back. I would have to say confidence is key. And a lot of people struggle with that because you don't know what somebody's been through. You know, everybody goes through traumas throughout their life. You don't know if as a kid that person was picked on. Or as a kid, maybe that person's family didn't show them enough support or love. Like, it goes deep. So you got to dig in yourself and be like, yo, this is me. I look good. Mm -hmm. And nobody else can tell me otherwise. It's a mindset. And when you change your mindset and you keep going, nobody can take that away from you. And the crowd is going to feel your energy. That's what I would say. Just bring that energy. All right, Dr. Layla King. I hear you <laughs> loud and clear. What is, uh, who is your uh, your role model in the modeling industry? Hmm. Woo, that's deep. Um, I would have to say it's a comedy. I don't know. It's a Tyra Banks. <laughs> I've been watching America's Next Top Model for years, you know, growing up as a kid. And once I thought that they started picking black women, you know, oh, wow, maybe one day I don't care. Right. <laughs> but um, I would have to say I follow her the most, you know, just growing up watching her movie, life size, like stuff like that. But I also love Naomi Campbell. But um, there's some great women out there, but that, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. And um, shout out to Nico. He was working with her last year. And it's just so close. It just hit so close to home to see somebody that I really admire. work Like somebody from Richmond worked mm-hmm. with Tyra Banks. So I just want to um, say that, you know, your network could take you so far. Yeah. And I really hope I meet her one day. Like I follow her. I watch her stuff. And she always talks about smiles, you know, smiling with your eyes. And I feel like if anybody's interested in being a model, like you really do have to know how to, you know, work your body. It's, it's just not walking. It's like your body language, your facial expression, everything plays a part. Mm-hmm. So my next question would be to you, how do you handle rejection in the modeling world? Um... I would have to say, I just have to like swallow the pill, you know, because not everybody going to like you. Not everybody going to pick you. Mm-hmm. And that's not my attitude when I go in there. You know, when I'm auditioning, I'm like, hey, why not? Why, mm-hmm. why wouldn't they pick you? Like, I look good. But, you know, some people, they not looking for that look. Yeah. I ain't going to name no shows specifically, but it shows. That no matter how good you are, no matter how much you can walk, they just don't want that look. They want a tall, taller woman. I'm on the short side, you know, and I wear seven inch heels, but it makes me taller. But sometimes they want you to be that height that I that I am in heels mm-hmm. without heels. So mm-hmm. you just gotta swallow that pill and be like, okay, this is not for me, but there's something else for me out there. Mm-hmm. So that doesn't hinder me. That doesn't stop me, but it's not like it makes me happy, but in a way it's like, okay, I dodged the bullet because if that's not for me, 
then there's something else out there for me. Like, I know it's a bigger blessing coming. Like, whenever one door closed, I know God got something greater for me. Yeah, but, uh... Rejection is... All I have to... All I have to say to rejection is, is to keep going. Like, at the end of the day, that's my phrase, like, in my mind. Like, keep in going. the back of my mind, every day I'm waking up, thank you, God. I got to yeah. keep going. Yeah. Because I'm here for a reason. I'm not going to see. I'm not going to be in a sunken place. Like, mm -hmm. no. Nah, I'm going to get up out here and get to it. And I'm not going to make no excuses. Yeah. You're going to get to it. Ain't going to make no excuses. I don't know what has happened the last time I seen you until now, but this confidence is crazy. I love it. <laughs> I do, because you really, you, uh, I say that you're more so, you know what you, all you always know what you wanted to do, but I feel like that you're like, yeah, this, this shit going to work. Like, ain't no, ain't no other way this ain't going to work. Like, now it's like since you getting into spaces, you got an agency behind you and you doing this type of stuff. Hey Amen. You, you you bust your ass to get to this position. I and I love to see it. Um, what is your favorite type of modeling that you like to do specifically? So I know they have different type of modeling parts as far as how they go about it, but what is your favorite favorite one? Okay, so yes, currently I do print. And I do runway, and like I was saying earlier, I love runway. I just love runway because it pushes me out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Because at first, all I was doing was taking pictures, which is more just print. And a lot of people tell me, you know, since you're short, get into commercial marketing. You know, get into commercial modeling, mm -hmm. which is, you know, the same thing. Like maybe do some Target ads or, you know, DTLR or stuff like that. Um but I just want to put people on game real quick. Basically, most agencies, you got to pay to be in them, and they mm -hmm. bring you the opportunities. I just want to let people know that they will get you paid. You just have to, you know, find the right one that fits you in your mm -hmm. schedule. But um, one way it stole one way it stole my heart because I feel like you get to see my full body, not just my face. And it's not like just a moment in time, like a photo. It's mm -hmm. like I, you get to see me. You get to see me moving. Like, you get to see me bring that energy that I was, you know, bringing up earlier. Mm -hmm. And um, I just, I really enjoy it. And it's like, my alter ego is on go. Yeah. That's hard. I'm very proud of you, man. For real, for real. Uh, how do you express your personality through your poses and your expressions? Okay, I'm going to be real with y'all. On this one, on this question, right here, <laughs> I am definitely a work in progress. Growing up, I feel like I'm the type of person that loves sneakers. Like I'm a sneaker type of girl. Mm -hmm. So for me to wear heels, like is it's cool. I've always worn heels, but I feel like I don't bring super super girly energy, like. It's giving boss. It gives boss. <laughs> I don't know how to describe myself on the runway, but I know I'm fierce, you know. Okay. You bring um, your attitude. Yeah, okay. I bring okay. a unique attitude to the runway. Yeah. It's just I've been trying my best to like really find the words to explain how I am on the runway, but it's definitely giving <laughs> like it's giving. <laughs> Attitude, you're having so much attitude. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right.